these marine conservationists are on the hunt for spawning coral. They're collecting coral gametes, the eggs and sperm, as part of an effort to breed and repopulate coral around the world. With coral reefs in decline globally due to climate change, pollution and other threats, this work could act as a stopgap shoring up damaged reefs while carbon emissions and global temperature rises are brought under control. These researchers are securing special nets over the corals to trap as much of the spawn as possible. Then it's a race against time to breed the coral in their lab while the gametes are still viable. They carefully pair up specific eggs and sperm to generate the most diverse and resilient offspring possible. The result is this a tiny coral larva. Once it finds a suitable surface, it will attach itself and become a coral polyp. Luckily, a suitable surface is nearby, a custom 3D printed star-shaped plate. Once attached, the embryonic corals are moved to a nursery, a floating pool in the sea where they can grow safe from predators like starfish and sea snails. When the corals reach fingernail size, they're taken to needy reefs, where the plates are wedged into crevices, replenishing the local coral population. The team previously tested this approach in reefs off Mexico and in the Caribbean. Elkhorn corals planted in 2012 near Curacao were spotted spawning themselves just four years later. Coral reefs remain under threat due to climate change, with half the globe's corals already gone. Projects like this one show that it may be possible to preserve and renew these vibrant ecosystems, but only if global temperatures stop rising. <laughs>